up next is the UFC welterweight division matchup. Science. This guy could have been a professional boxer, probably a world champion if he so chose. He loves the MMA game, but his boxing is certainly his bread and butter. I mean, a guy that was on par to make an Olympic team, and that is in one specific skill set. When you reach that level, when you're winning the national championship, and you're about to go to the Olympics, but you choose a different avenue, yeah. you decide you want to fight mixed martial arts, it's truly something special. He has the most educated jab I have ever seen in the octagon. He throws the jab, it always comes back to the face. It never goes to the hip. And if you rush him, if you rush him, he has the ability to switch dancers from conventional to southpaw and land a great counter right hand that will put your lights up. Better jab than your guy, Rosendo Sanchez. Oh, it's no. unbelievable. He puts Rosendo Sanchez to shame. All right, so here he is, the United States Olympian, former four-time NCAA Division I All-American wrestler, Ben Askren, still undefeated in mixed martial arts, D.C., and truly, in terms of his wrestling accomplishments, one of the best American collegiate wrestlers of all time. He is one of the best American collegiate wrestlers of all time. But with Ben Askren, it boils down to, can you stop it? You know it's right. coming. Ben Askren is not a guy that's gonna stand in front of you and try to kick and punch with you. He's coming to wrestle. He's coming to grapple. Can you stop him? Up to 20 guys almost have not been able to. And Ben, because of his mentality, because of how mentally strong he is, feels that he can be the UFC champion even if he doesn't develop elite striking skills. And don't let the aesthetic fool you. Doesn't have the strongest core in the game. That doesn't mean he can't go a hard 25 minutes tonight. Ben actually told me, what if this is the body that is optimal for fighting, his body and mine. You just never know. Never know. I might have a future in this game after. You might. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 175 pounds. Fighting out of Cleveland, Ohio, USA, lights out. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, two losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Ben Funky And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Great. All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting, and it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand over. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal. Right? And they are exchanging leather early. Takes him for a ride. What a high impact takedown that was. 
Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Watch the right, so power tie now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Right hand punch from the clinch. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. All right, so the strike lands, but my my children hit hard. <laughs> yeah. a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, quick level change now. He went single into a high Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? You know when to hold? Know when, when to hold, to hold him, yeah, there absolutely. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. Second round underway. <laughs> Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Nice leg kick land. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Right hand punch from the clinch. Look at him whip his hip into that Right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa. How he that one appeared to stun him. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Single collar tie now. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow oh! right now. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And just misses with that big right hand. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, straight right. Top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Beautiful level change, making the people go low and go right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, big left. How about that chin? Oh! Back to the feet. What a fantastic strike. Oh. Try to establish that jab. Oh, he's out! Oh, oh, my goodness! What a fight! Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called to stop this contest at four minutes, nine seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout. Right there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. You knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, you got that done. And he should be very proud of the work he and his coaches got done tonight.